Hey guys, this is Jared. I'm here with Matt again today. Uh, today we are going to talk about replacement parts specifically for Everglades boats. Um, you know, one of the things that, that we've kind of noticed over the, the time here is a lot of people call us and they're just frustrated once they get on the phone with us because they've been scouring the internet, uh, you know, for, for months, years looking for a specific part that just, you know, kind of uh, pains them on their boat that they need to get fixed or replaced. There's not a lot of documentation out there. So, you know, one of the things we always like to do is to work with that person, whether we have the part, we built the part, or, you know, if, if we didn't or we don't we don't have that component, is try to send them on the way and make sure that they're better because they did call us. Right, Matt, can you 100%. kind of speak to that a little bit? Yeah, it, one of the biggest challenges in the marine industry is just that parts aren't necessarily documented from one manufacturer to another. Uh, so we've built a lot of parts for the marine industry over the years and we wanted to show you guys a little bit on you know what you might not see on the website what you might you know the kind of work that we do if you're not super familiar with it yet and you know if there's something on your boat you think we might have done reach out to us and give it you know we want to give you that idea yeah so that actually brings me to a good point um, of, of kind of who we are at boat outfitters I know we've kind of mentioned this a little bit um, boat outfitters is the e-commerce specific business to uh, customer side uh, for Teak Isle manufacturing Teak Isle manufacturing our parent company you know we're upstairs above the same production line that's building po boat parts for over the top 200 OEMs out there so you know that is something that we have a lot of documentation that we've built of parts over the years and the very same engineers the very same production people that are putting those parts together and shipping them out the doors for the original builder are the same people that are getting your parts together for those replacement parts 100 um, percent you know one of the things that i wanted to show on boat outfitters for the site is how you can go and shop by boat brand so you know i'm going to go ahead and switch over here on the screen view and we are going to see our site here right so this is the home page of boatoutfitters.com um, on our site, you'll look down here in this specific area, you are able to select your boat brands. Now, not every boat brand's in there. Um, you know, we probably haven't done the best job building this out, but that's something that we're continuing to grow every single day. Um, you know, in this case, right, you can see Everglades, right? There's a lot of different ones. Hydra Sport, Hunt Yachts, Key West, very popular. Maverick Boats. Maverick mm -hmm. Boats, Sea Hunt, Sea Fox. So, you know, specifically today, we are going to be talking about Everglades. Um, you know, this is the Everglades page, right? You can see here that we've got everything. And what we've really done is taken, okay, here's some, some core materials and latches that we know, but also as part of our build process, we've gone through and pulled bill of materials of parts that we've built over the years. And these are the specific parts that we've incorporated into the teak aisle parts that are going out to Everglades. So, you know, you can see here, you know, there's a list of 56 items. We definitely have more. For um, sure. You know, scroll through this list of you know everything from keys to even corian, right? Uh, for the the different wet bars that we put on the boats, mm -hmm. uh, the seal that always goes bad inevitably. Mm -hmm. uh, you've even got plano trays, right? You lose tackle boxes, or you want to have more versatility to switch it out depending on the species you target. All of that's here on the site. So, you know, one of the things that Matt and I want to do today is kind of go through some of the parts specifically. And this is where I'm going to turn it over to Matt that we build for Everglades. Um, we've kind of put together some folders here going through some of the different sections, Matt. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the console doors, right? So Sure. So uh, a lot of the console doors, <clears throat> actually the console door that you see here was used on like the 290, pi, or, um, the 290 center console. It was used on the 320. It's used on the 350. But it's the same door that kind of it's used across multiple models. And, you know, we offer... we you won't find the whole door by itself on the website at this point but what you can see is that we have the window the replacement window on there and we'll get to that as we go through you can see in this you got some crazing going on with it that you know you maybe want to replace it your door's still good just want to replace the window perfect opportunity to jump right on the website and pick it up right there um, so you can kind of see like a before and after here right you for know, sure terrible here you go. So you've and got a lot better door. Exactly. If you wanted to get an entire replacement door, it, you know, you just got to give us a call. We can make it happen for you. So one of the things we'll get into later, Matt actually has an Everglades 243. So we're going to talk through some of the things that he's done to his boat mm -hmm. um, towards you know the end of the segment. But you know, 
one of the things that you see here is this aluminum extrusion that's powder coated that goes around. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. going to get beat up over time. Again, mm -hmm. as the, the original OEM supplier here at Boat Outfitters, we have that opportunity to get you the exact replacement part, to including a new frame. Right. Right. If, if your door's still in good shape and you're comfortable with installing the door in the frame, we could make you a new frame, then you don't have to buy the whole door. Or, you know, conversely, if you just need the latch or just need the hinge or, you know, all of those parts we can get component pieces. So again, you know, you kind of covered a couple of the different models that are pictured here, mm -hmm. but guys, we've been doing this, right? I mean, for how, how long have we been building Everglades boat parts? We've been building Everglades boat parts since 2008. And prior to that, they were built by a company called Spartech. And later on, when we get into the drawing section, you'll see, we, you know, we've got a lot of the files that Spartech used to do, and we can still replicate a lot of those older parts cool let's switch over here let's uh let's check out the next one this is windows so you know walk me through you know what i'm looking at here to start right so everglades kind of they they were pretty innovative made that sliding front window that you see on the 243 on some of the the older models and and you see it on their new models as well but it's been redesigned throughout the years um it's just quarter inch green edge acrylic you know, so it, you can slide it up and down really nice, but sometimes they you know, customers will leave the windows up and trailer the boat at 80 miles an hour, and they're really not meant for that. And uh, sometimes they break, or they've been cleaned with like an aggressive cleaner, and they craze, and you just need to replace it. It just doesn't look good, uh, or somebody swings a sinker and cracks it. You know, it could be anything, yeah. any reason you need to replace it. And so, you know, it's, as far as, you know, replacing these windows as we go through. Right. So so that was the front window, but we also do the side windows in the same material. Actually, the side window that you see right there is what we would refer to on the website as the non-upper station. That's, uh, that's switch, the same. Switch over here so we can see us. Yeah, that's the same window that we have here. Sorry, you're going to see some reflection of the lights, but I don't know that you're going to see it otherwise. It's just green edge acrylic. You can see that it kind of looks like, you know, glass when you see the edge of it really kind of a cool material um, and everglades, everglades is used forever and one of the first first manufacturers out there that, that used it right for their boats that i can recall okay eh. awesome and we have that for a live well lid as well live right? well lids we have it for the windows yeah so you know going back and we'll go ahead and switch over here to the screen again mm -hmm. you know you've got these windows again matt mentioned that over time there's a lot that happens you know, I'll pull back up the website while we're here and you can see, right, we are carrying just dip, you know, different ones, the 243, 223, you'll see as Matt mentioned, mm -hmm. some differences here uh, for upper station, non-upper station. Right. Um, you know, the like, older, older version versus the newer version, you know, but yeah. I think those ones there for the, yeah, the 240 and those were painted around the perimeter. Uh, you know, a little bit different configuration, but they wanted to hide some of the some of the stuff going on behind it. Yep, and here's the window we were just looking right. at as well. The console door window. So mm -hmm. you guys can see here a lot of different Everglades parts. Um, let me go ahead and back up here, and next part's actually pretty exciting. We're going to go into some of the different storage things we do for Everglades. Um, so walk us through what we're looking at here, Matt, different locations on the boat. Yeah, so we do, um, like, just... I can speak specifically to the 243 because I have the most experience with it. But, uh, you know, the tilt-out boxes that are forward in the boat, you know, similar to what you see there, um, the under gunnel rod holders, the flip-up uh, backrest, there's some, there's some drop-down, you know, side storage in the uh, leaning post. Um, we do a lot of different parts drawer units there's an under leaning post drawer unit and we've got that in here as well uh, yep, yep yep that one there so that's something that that's pretty specific to an everglades but we've had quite a few right. customers that we built something like this for them that just had that little bit of gap there so yeah that that's a great part because it still gives you the room to open the cooler lid without having to slide the cooler out yep but it still gets you two tackle trays and a place to put you know a couple sinkers if you're if you got your tubes of copper wire back there Awesome. So let's do this. Let's uh, go to the last one. This was something Matt kind of put together here uh, toward the you know, last minute before the segment. And really good idea just to kind of show you not everything that we build for Everglades is going to be on our website. Right. right? You know, Teak Isle builds, I think you, you probably can, a thousand we unique SKUs a week with a build quantity of seven. Seven, right? Yeah. So, you know, there's there's a ton of parts that are being built. And we have um, over a hundred thousand different SKUs from various different boat builders. 
So right. there's other things that are out there that are not on our website, but give us a call. And in this case, Matt, walk them through the process for this. So we'll, right. we'll start looking for them. So someone will call up, they'll say, hey, I have a 209 well, um, you know, center console. I'm not even sure if Everglades builds that model anymore. But we made the acrylic live oil lid for it. They could call us up and we can remake the lid, send it out to you. Uh, come to find out, the 209 probably worked for the 210 as well. Right. Or, you know, and some other things. We got the, the tilt-out boxes I was talking about for the 243. You're not going to see those directly on the website. Maybe the ABS bin on the back is broken and you just need that piece. We could get just that for you and you can install it. This is actually a drawing, an old Spartek drawing I wanted to throw in here just to show up and uh, or put up and show that uh, you know, we still have a lot of the old files um, from prior to 2008 that if you were looking for a live well lid on your 350 and it's a 2006 you know, we could still get that for you. Awesome. So here's something once T. Kyle started building the parts, very mm -hmm. similar, right? Similar drawing, looks a little bit nicer. <laughs> so And then flip up back seats on the 243, the 223. Um, we see a I lot of those. I think we do them on some of the other models as well, but they're not the same exact configuration as they are for those two, uh, for what's shown on the screen right now. So a lot of issues. We actually have one right now we're working on. It's the fiberglass. The fiberglass is broken. Right. 2005 Everglades, the flip up back uh, the flip, flip up back seats of seat back rests. I can't speak. <laughs> um, they were made out of like a like a cord material and gel coated, and they you know if you flip them up too fast or lean back on them too hard and they break or crack, uh, you know we we make them in starboard. We could get a replacement for you. I can tell you that we've got a set here now, and there looks like there might be some slight differences, but nothing too crazy. Awesome. Yeah. So that's a really good option. You know, you're you're trying to hunt down a fiberglass guy to see what he can do for you if anything at all right there's probably something that this guy's been you know angsting over for the the past couple of years that mm -hmm. you know now we've got a solution for him so that's right. that's awesome um so yeah, yeah a lot of different options left a yeah. couple things transom out here door. transom door mm -hmm. what are we live looking well at lids here? that's okay. one of the newer 243s that's an old 243 live well lid you know transom workstations live well lids um fish box lids we got all the hinges, got all the latches. Awesome. It really covers the whole spectrum there. I mean, and it's this really isn't specific to Everglades. We have all of these drawings, all of this hardware and such for all of the different boat builders that we make parts for. And going back to the late 90s, in some cases mid-90s. Yeah. And we could get, I've had customers call up for you know, 1998 Pursuit Parts, and we had the drawings and we had the ability to replace it. Yep, so to that point, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move down my next question and, and kind of piggyback off of that. Sure. You know, again, I, we've covered this last segment, but I always want to, to make sure that this is kind of brought up very brief here. You know, what is the process, right? So we've got a team of people over here, you give mm -hmm. us a call, what's the first thing we ask them for? A lot of times, the first thing we ask for is a picture and dimensions of the part. The that's going to help us immensely when we're searching for the part in our files. You know, it, we have so many different files and so many different ways that it could be called. That if we have photos and dimensions, we know what we're looking for. We can see it. And if I see a drawing similar to what we showed up there, then I'm like, oh yeah, we're on the right track here. I have an opportunity to send it back to you to verify dimensions. Say yes, this is the correct part that I'm looking for, and we can move forward from there and getting it replaced. Awesome. So you know, again, that's something that's not specific to Everglades. This piece is on Everglades replacement parts, but. You know, guys, if you have anything on the boat that you just are always wanting to get replaced but couldn't find that part, give us even, a call. Even if you think it's something we might have made, call us up and give us the chance to see if we can find it for you. And if we can't find it for you, maybe we could still replace it for you. And, you know, to that point, again, you know, our, our kind of motto here is that when a customer calls us, we know how frustrated you are. You know, we've all worked sure. and tried to fix boats ourselves. And as part of that, you know, there's no documentation. You call us up. We're, if we don't have it, we're at least going to get you pointed in the right direction. Yes. Right. So, you know, that's our promise, our pact to you as a as a as a vendor. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure that you guys are set and you guys are enjoying your time out there on the water. Um, you know, you have an Everglades two forty three. Yeah. Something yeah. you know we mentioned here. It's a two thousand and six. Awesome. So we've had it for a while. <laughs> so, you know, you've had your boat. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You work at Boat Outfitters, right? Best place in the world. <laughs> Pretty convenient. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so what have you had to replace on your boat at all? 
you know, I, I haven't had to replace much on my boat at this point. I've done some of the, like, the, the deck hatch lids, the, com the the cam latches. I replaced them, converted them over to compression latches. Okay. Um, I've had to replace, you know, like, the cable tie strap on the live well lid. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to replace the live well lid because I've had a couple people come on the boat not really thinking about what they're doing, decided they wanted to cut bait on my clear acrylic live well lid. Now I've got some knife marks in it. Um, they don't go on the boat anymore. <laughs> they don't go on the boat anymore. <laughs> but, you know, uh, the tilt-out boxes, the ABS bin, actually the glove box on that boat was an interesting part. It would, it used to be made with ABS. Now I think they're made with starboard. And the ABS bottom of it broke out when somebody threw a set of keys what it was, set or, of something, keys or something, something in there. And we had to replace that. Um, so the, it was the tilt out know, at box that point bins. stuff's just falling down inside your yeah, dash. Yeah, just drops Blood into box the console. Is unusable. We had an immen immense amount of gorilla tape holding it together. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you know that's kind of Matt's personal experience as mm -hmm. an Everglades boat owner. Um, you know, using boat outfitters to to replace parts. Again, mm -hmm. we're here if you guys have anything. You know, want to want to. We have the best job in the world. People get to call us and talk about boats. So that's for sure. <laughs> um, you know, give us a call. We we love to be here for that. Um, what are some of the common issues you hear? Maybe give some shout outs here in this this video, just in Everglades in general that you can think of. The biggest replacement is the live well lid. Live well lid. People will leave that live well lid up, trim the motor up, and it, next thing you know, it's kaputs. Okay. It's it's definitely the biggest replacement part, at least on the 243s. Um, okay. Actually, in fact, even on the bigger boats, the live well lids seem to go quicker anyway. Uh, they tend to craze a little bit sooner. They're they're a little you know they're coming in contact with the salt water a lot more. Um, they're getting a lot more direct sunlight. They're not you know vertical windows covered by a t-top. Right. Um, so they they tend to be the the most frequently replaced part. But I've replaced those ABS bins on the tilt-out boxes quite a few times. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, guys, you know, we, we kind of walked through everything here. Um, you know, it doesn't look like we have any comments from anybody here on the site. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to leave everybody with the, the same kind of outro that we, we've talked about. If there's something you want to hear us talk about here that we haven't discussed yet, please comment below. Let if, us know. Yep. If there's something that we've left off specific to Everglades replacement parts, put a comment in. We've got people monitoring that. We'll get you an answer really quick. Um, other than that, just appreciate everybody stopping by. Um, until next time, I want you to have a good time out on the water, and thanks for stopping by.